Hey guys, Matt from Upsilon Mining here. Today we'll be doing a video on the GTX 1070, the profitability, power usage, and the reasons for me selling my 1070 rig. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we'll be taking down this 1070 rig here running on Ethereum and actually uh, pulling the GPUs out of the rig itself and I'm going to be packaging them up in a box and sending them out to a buyer off of eBay. And then we're going to go over a quick analysis of the 1070 at profitability and the power usage and exactly why I've decided to get rid of these cards in favor of some more efficient ones. Hey guys, what's up? So here we are back on Hive OS, and we're just going to quickly go over the 1070 rig, which I plan to dismantle today and uh, ship the GPUs out to a buyer off of eBay. Um, now, I think the 1070 uh, was a great contender back in the day, especially in the early days of uh, GPU mining. Unfortunately, uh, as difficulties increased on, on a lot of the algorithms like Ethereum, uh, it just hasn't proven itself to be um, as good of a card for multiple reasons, the main reason being efficiency. Um, it's talking specifically about the amount of mega hash per watt that you're getting on Ethereum. And we're only going to speak in terms of Ethereum today just for the sake of time constraints and just for uh, so people don't get confused, we could just focus on that one metric. So we're looking at uh, my rig with six 1070s, GTX 1070s. These are actually really nice 1070s. They're the um, for the Asus white ones. Let's see if I can pull a picture. These are really nice cards. I love the way they look. They look super cool. Let's see if I can pull it up. Right, yep, give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna paste in the link. All right, so here we go. This, uh, yeah, so this, I get out of here. So the Asus Dual Series GeForce GTX 1070 OC Edition, 8 gigabyte with GDDR5 memory. Um, these are really nice cards. They're really cool. It looks really cool in the rig, as you guys saw earlier. But the um, and it's actually VR capable. I remember when I was dabbling with my HTC Vive back uh, a few a few years ago. Uh, I remember the 1070 was one of the cards that were recommended that you that you needed to play VR on. And often it was interesting. I, I often thought like, okay, well, I got these 1070s now, um, and I've only had this rig for about six months. And I like, let me just let me just uh, precursor everything to say that I bought this rig for more than I should have from a guy that was looks like he was getting out of mining at the time, and I overpaid. And I wasn't as uh, you know, I wasn't as knowledgeable back then when it came to uh, efficiency. Um, the watt, the amount of electricity that I was using, the overall hash rate, and like the the ROI and numbers on this card, I just thought it looked really cool, and uh, I was just I was a fresh, I was the fresh prince of uh, of mining <laughs> coming in, um, and I bought and I bought this rig. So, I mean, they look really neat. I I almost, I almost call this my stormtrooper rig because they just look so cool. They're, I love the white casing on them, and they look really good. But like just like the founders edition card, they're looking really good that I have. Um, it's not, it doesn't mean that it's worth keeping, especially when you're trying to run a mining operation that you're trying to make, you know, essentially create coins at the lowest amount of power costs possible. So if you look across these cards here, um, it's nice and cool right now in the mining basement. So we're getting around 25 mega hash per card right now on Ethereum. And for six cards, that's equal to around 152.9 mega hash. Now the wattage here is off a little bit. This is probably closer to 850 watts to 900 watts for the entire rig. That's including all the uh, uh, the motherboard and the power supply and the CPU and blah 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 all the other stuff. Uh, so let's take a measurement. Let's just do some simple math here and just figure out what the proper uh, profitability on this card would be, or the efficiency, I should say, rather. So let me take out my trusty Windows calculator that's been acting up lately. I don't know if you guys have ever problems with a uh, Windows 10 calculator, but sometimes the Windows 10 calculator just freezes up the computer. It's like the simplest app in existence, well, somewhat, and it just doesn't want to re perform sometimes. <laughs> Come on, calculator. Um, okay, so we are getting 25 
make a hash 25.5.5 and we're going to divide that by let's do this one so we take the 25.5 we're going to divide that by 130 which is probably more than that but we'll just use that number for now that gives us an efficiency rating of 0.196 percent okay 0.196 let's open up another calculator let's contrast that to the 6600 and as you guys know, these are very efficient cards. So here's my 6600 rig, and we're going to just, okay, run the math on this one. So 52 watts divided by, no, 28.8 divided by 52 watts. We're just using these software numbers, 55%. Okay, so like the higher the number, the better. So now I can call these efficiency factors, but essentially what they are is they're the amount of mega hash per watt. Now, as you can imagine, and as it's pretty clear, you want this number to be higher. The more mega hash that you're going to get per power consumption, the more bang for buck, right? You're going to pay pay less electricity to get the same amount of of electric of a uh, hash rate which will inevitably convert over to the amount of coins or yield that you're retrieving back. So right now, uh, look at those differences. It is insane. Like 0.196 is probably at the, at the bottom end of the spectrum and 0.55 is at the top end of the spectrum. But it's clear that obviously this is not something which is a good bang for buck and power. I could be using that power elsewhere. So if we just take a quick look, 50... Two watts, that is crazy low. <laughs> crazy, that's why I'm getting more of these 6600s, probably to replace these 1070s, which is kind of a spoiler alert, actually. So I'm going to replace these cards with 6600 XTs. Um, I also have 3060 Ti's uh, LHR. With the new LHR unlock, um, I think I can get around 50 mega hash um, for maybe 100, and I'm not sure the wattage on those, probably 130 watts. Uh, maybe a little more, but if you take a look at what we're doing now, we're burning 130 watts and we're going like 25 mega hash, which is just horrible. So I think we'll get at least 0.4 efficiency on those 3060s. And if I put, if I decide to just fill this up with the 6600s, we're obviously getting a ridiculously high efficiency. So each card is 130. This entire thing is using, my God, 850 watts to only get 152 mega hash. That's really bad. That's that's bad. It's even it would be better to get multiple 3090s clearly um, and run it in this rig than this because that's a, a one thirty ninety running an optimal range can get around one hundred twenty one to one hundred twenty five mega hash on Ethereum right now, and that is clearly a good chunk of of this entire rig with running six cards, and on top of it all. Um, I'm limited in my house. To, uh, the power usage here is limited. My panel is relatively small. It's about 100 amp, which is doesn't really add up to me because if I go through all the all the switches in, or sorry, all the yeah the switches or the circuits inside the breaker panel, um, they don't add up to 100. They actually go above 100. So I need to figure out why it is that way. Maybe it's electrical code or something. Um, but I did flip the breaker on my entire house uh, a few weeks back, and the whole house literally shut off. My kids are like, "Why is there no power? Was there power?" I go downstairs. Of course, the main the main switch, the main 100 amp uh, breaker has been flipped. So it's not good to use all that power up if you don't need to. It's just a waste of power, and you're not making as much uh, coin as well using this. So and they create more heat. That's the other thing too, right? So if I can get my goal wasn't really to succumb past this this hash rate. It was basically to cut the power rate in half. Like if I put, like easily, if I put six of those, um, let's do some more math. So if I put six of those 6600s into this rig, <coughs> so I get, um, say they run an average of 55 watts times six. That's 330 watts. This one runs 780. Yeah, 2.3 uh 230 percent higher 236 percent higher to run this rig and get less hash rate yeah because we'll be running at 28.5 times six we'll easily be able to get 170 uh, mega hash on a six card rig running 6600s compare that to 152. so it's for all these reasons that i'm just not uh i'm just not gonna 
uh, keep this rig around. It's just not putting out, it's just not working hard enough for what it's consuming. Um, and the heat generation too. So summer's coming up as well and I'm starting to think about heat generation and this is, this is one rig that can heat up um, a cold garage in the summer quite a bit, in a, sorry, in the winter, quite a bit. Um, and not really do a lot of work, 152 mega hash and just getting hot. You can feel the heat coming off this rig quite a bit because it's pulling 130 uh, watts. It's doing more than that actually because this number is wrong. So they're just not very efficient cards. Um, they look so cool, man. I just love them. I'd love to take all six of these maybe and make them into like VR computers and open up like a VR cafe or something. I thought about that. And I don't know if any of you guys are into like uh, playing virtual reality and all that, but like the HTC Vive and you just get some really really sick games off of Steam. Um, there's like cool zombie games, uh, a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff. Um, Work simulators, a couple. Well, there's a couple of really good HTC Vive guys. Hit up the comments below if you know of any awesome like HTC Vive uh, VR games. Because I'm actually looking to see if there's any some some cool ones I can give a shot. Oh, try it with my son maybe. So yeah, that's that's essentially the reason why. So uh, I don't recommend these cards. So if we go over to what to mine, even let's go to what to mine. Let's put in the number. So 152 at 774. 152 at 774, 734 watts. Right now, on Ethereum for these six cars, I'm making 425, and that's pretty good uh, just because profitability is a little higher right now. If you put in more actual numbers, this is probably about 850. I, I saw it closer to 900, I think, with using the watt meter. But we will make 405. So it's still over $404 a day. I mean, it's good. Right? I mean, that's not too bad, but. Let's put in the 6600s, right? So if we go to whattomine.com, we'll put in the 6600s. We'll take six of those. I think we put the numbers in already. We put in uh, 171 mega hash. So we'll get 171 mega hash on 6600s. And we're going to run around. I think we did the numbers already. Okay, yeah, so it's. Uh, Sorry, my bad. 55 times, we have a million calculators open now. 55 times uh, 6, so 330. Let's say 400 watts, just, just to be safe. 171 mega hash. So keep in mind, 405 in the 1070s. Let's. Uh, 4,100 watts. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. 601. So we're over $2 a day higher. I mean, that adds up, right? I mean, that's $2 a day. Over $60 a month. And, like, literally you're burning less electricity, so you're saving money on the electricity side of things, too. So it could be even significantly more than, depending on your rate, $6 could going to be $7, $8. The more you pay in electricity, the more you're going to, the higher that profit bill is going to be. So... Anyway, guys, do you have any comments on your 1070s? Are you still building 1070 rigs? Why or why not? Uh, what do you think about the efficiency and the numbers here in the 1070s? And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. That helps keep me super motivated to create new awesome content for you guys. If you click on the notification bell, blah, blah, if you click on the notification bell, you, you'll get live updates as soon as I release a new video. All right, guys, that's it. Keep on mining and have a great day. All right, guys, so there you have it. So is a 1070 really worth it in 2022, April? Um, yes, it still does make money, but only if you can get the cards for pretty cheap. I would say I wouldn't pay any more than maybe $200 per card. Um, and your farm is relatively small, meaning that if you have a lot of rigs going on, there's a lot of heat being generated, um, and your electricity bill is kind of pushing up there to the cusp and you can't fit any more cards in, I'd recommend getting rid of these older 10 series cards. I also have a couple 1080s. I got rid of a 1080 Ti last week. I sold it off. Uh, to a local gamer um, and uh, these 1070s are clearly going as well so guys they're still a good card there's nothing wrong with them and they look freaking sweet but honestly I can't recommend them right now if you really want to run a larger uh, profitable farm I'd say anything over maybe a giga hash or so I wouldn't bother getting any more of these it's just because they just use way too much power for the amount of hash you're getting all right guys thanks talk to you later